CNR, Empire Central Radio, Empire Bay's home for that hot new rock and roll sound, ECNR. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. Fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You wanna know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like he did John. your voice now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? Why, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the were things. Why you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut, Vito. You swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do.
I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more to disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. This is crazy, fuck. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. We're done with you. I'm gonna feed you to the rack. <clears throat> we could still work this out. <clears throat> what do you think, Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? Y'all fucked. You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? Something like this and walk away. You're fucked. <clears throat> we could still work this out, Vito.
I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Whoa. Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. About the cops. Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw us swear we did it in self-defense. We were never here. All right. Good luck then. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that.
So what can I do for you, sir? New license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. Thanks, Fido. Appreciate the business. at last from companies that I'm sure would never lead us astray just to make a buck. I mean, come on! For Empire Central Radio, I'm rockin' Ricky Fox.
Tell me what you need. License plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. There you go. I'll give you a couple of... Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate the business.
Introducing the all-new Wasp from the Houston Car Company. Now sporting the largest displacement eight-cylinder engine in the world, which is why it's the preferred choice of the Empire Bay Racing Circuit. Also featuring the new patented Step Low feature, the Wasp has more legroom and more style than ever. Visit your Houston car dealer today and prepare to be amazed by the all-new Houston Wasp. For power and style, your Houston dealer is your first and last stop. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dub with the tongs. 
He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Gentlemen, this is Gary Stevens for ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. Social unrest has emerged from the darkest depths and taken the lives of several of Empire Bay's hardworking men. The Southport docks were overtaken by a violent mob as shots rang out, and several young men lost their lives. Longshoremen's Union boss Derek Papalardo, long known for his unsavory labor practices, was among those killed. We'll have more on this story, perhaps at a later time. For ECLA Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stephen. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Hello, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito.
State bene, Vito. that's a mere three feet by three feet in size will allow users to get messages that friends and family leave for them once they call your home, providing you aren't there and able to pick up the handset, of course. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. Freeze, and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I want to hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We got to do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Fuck you! You filthy fuck! 
Come on! Come on, you fuck! that noise.
Eat that, you asswipe! 